Number one, what is the total mass in AMU of carbon in each of the following molecules? And then we have letter B. So in this case, we have to find the total amount in AMU of carbon in CHCl3. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write it a little bigger here because I like to, uh, you know, make things big here. And we're focusing on just the carbon. So the first thing is, is we got to figure out which one is carbon here, right? But this takes note, you know, we got to know our elements. The carbon is this guy over here, right? Carbon is C. This is what it looks like on the periodic table, if you have your periodic table out. Now, some of you might say, well, what about this, right? There's a C here. However, there's a lowercase l next to the C. Any lower cases are with the uppercase. This is actually chlorine. It's not carbon. Okay. So, in order to find the total mass in AMU, the first thing you always have to figure out is how many of the carbon you have in the total compound. Well, let's see. I know that here's my carbon, right? Here it is. And did they tell me how many I had? Well, you see how there's a three next to the chlorine, right? Was there a number next to the carbon? No, right? It just goes to C to the H. So when you, not, when you don't see a number next to your element, there's a secret one here. That tells me that there's only one carbon. That's like the hardest part, just making sure that you have the right number of carbons. Now, all we have to do is take that number and multiply it by the uh, mass, the molecular mass in AMU on the periodic table. Now, I drew what my periodic table looks like. Now, there's, there's two numbers in every box for every element. There's a smaller number for carbon at six, and then there's a larger number. On my periodic table, it's 12.01. But on your periodic table, it might be a little different. That's okay. Periodic tables may vary a little bit. Just know that the mass is always the bigger number. The six is the atomic number. That's the number of protons and the number of electrons if the molecule or the element is neutral. The bigger number is the average mass. That's why there's decimals here. So this is my average molecular mass. Or atomic mass, maybe I'll say, because it's just one atom. And the unit could be in two units here. It could be an AMU, atomic mass unit, or it could be in grams per mole. Um, in this case, they wanted it in AMU, so I'm just going to leave it in AMU, atomic mass unit, AMU. And all we're going to do is you're, we're going to use that number. So I'm going to say 1 times 12.01 AMU. And that's the end. The total mass would just be how many carbons you have times the mass of it. So in this case, it's still 12.01 AMU, and that's the total mass in AMU of carbon. Pretty simple, right, guys? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And I thank you so much for that. You guys rock. Let's keep studying hard. Let's, you know, ace our tests and quizzes. I believe in you guys. Let's keep studying hard. And I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.